Good morning, everyone. It is the 8th of January. I'm Pastor Tim for Simply God in Burlington, Kansas. And hey, if you're not doing anything tonight and you want to come out and join us, we'd love to have you come and join us from 6.30 to 7.30. We're on the corner of 9th and U, but we have youth ministry, we have adult ministry, we have children's ministry, all for you at 6 o'clock. If you come early, we even provide a meal. And so come out and join us, corner of 9th and Yuba, 6.30 to 7.30. All right, so let's continue on. What is fasting? We kind of talked about it is a spiritual discipline. Well, in Scripture, the normal, the normal means of fasting involves abstaining from all food, solid or liquid, but not from water. In Luke 4.12, describes for us Jesus' fast, 40 days. We are told he ate nothing and at the end of the fast he was hungry. From a physical standpoint, this is the manner in the scripture describes fasting. See, but in scripture we, we also find that there is other fasts, like the partial fast in Daniel 10, an absolute fast in Esther 4. However, the normal means is not eating for a period of time. So you might say, well, okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, but I would dare to tell you, the, I do the Daniel fast, and, and, and what that is, that is giving up caffeine, that is giving up sugars, uh, that is literally giving up, um, it's called the, the king's meals, you know, that's giving up steak and, and meats and, and sugars and caffeine. Uh, this is, the caffeine part, for me, to be honest with you, is probably the most difficult because I like my coffee. And so throughout that, I like my uh, my caffeine drinks. I, I like them, but I give them up, and God helps me get through this because I'm focusing on what God wants me to do. And you might say, well, that's, that's, that's good, but, you know, what if I can't do it? It's a spiritual discipline. Now, all disciplines is a little bit more difficult. You, when you give up, when you focus on the things that are higher than you, it will be easier. It's like this morning, I, I tried to work out, I, I've been doing this body gospel, and they were doing this part that was working your abs, and your core, and, 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 and I gave up before it was done because it was doing these sit-ups, and, and I'm, I am not a sit-up kind of guy. My legs were hurt, my back was hurt, and I was whining and complaining, and I gave up. Does that make me a failure? No, it just means that I have to come back to it. So if during a fast you 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 you, you mess up as we call it, don't just say, oh, I might as well just give up and go back doing what I No. Start back. Get back into it. Don't 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 beat yourself up. Just get back in and focus on the things that are spiritual, the things that are godly, the things that are, are what God's calling you to do. Because guess what? It is, it is, it is true that, that God will bless you as you are fervent in what you're looking at. I remember several years ago that uh, I had some friends over. It was the fir literally the first time that I did the Daniel fast and, and giving up sugars and stuff. And, and I had some friends that came and visit and I wanted to host them right. So I ordered some uh, homemade cinnamon rolls from a lady within our church. And I was pretty excited about that, that they were going to enjoy this. And she brought this pan of hot cinnamon rolls. And, and, and the first couple times I walked past them, I was fine. But something drew me into those cinnamon rolls, and, and I ate a cinnamon roll. Now, yes, I was on a fast, and yes, I, I gave in to that temptation. But the fact is, I went right back. To, I, I prayed, God, sorry about that, and I went right back in my fast. And I'll tell you what, after that fast, I felt so much closer to God than I've ever felt before. And that is my desire for this fast as well. I'm, I'm a fast for myself as well as for my church. So let me pray for you. Tomorrow we're going to talk about what Scripture says or Jesus says about and Jesus says about fasting. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single buddy in, in your name. Bless them, Lord God. And Lord, help them if you're speaking their hearts to start a fast, may they just connect with that in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.